Hi friends, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are asked to calculate the value of x, that is the length of this line segment. We have that of this to be 8 and this is 6 units. This here is a right angle. If you come here, this angle has its size to be A. Same is for this angle. Its size is also A. Here too, its size is A. That is, the three angles are congruent. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the length of this line segment X? The first thing we'll do is label all the vertices. Say P, Q, R, S, and T. The question is very simple. Just come to this triangle PRT. We see this line QT bisect this angle of A. That is, it is an angle bisector of the triangle. There is the angle bisector theorem, which states that the angle bisector of a triangle divides the opposite sides into two segments that are in the same proportion as the other two sides. That is here, this angle bisector divides this side such that this segment is in the same proportion with this as this side is to this. Assume the law of this to be y and this c. So x over 8 equal to z over y. Okay, come here. This line ps, we extend it to meet another line from this vertex which is also at an angle A with this side. Call this point V. Now look at this triangle STV. This line is a CVN, which bisects this angle. Hence, it is an angle bisector. It also is perpendicular to this side. The only two types of triangle that have an angle bisector perpendicular to the opposite side is either an equilateral triangle or an isosceles triangle. It doesn't matter which one it is because in both the side adjacent to such angle bisector are congruent. That is, this side and this are congruent. So since this side is y in length, this must also be y. Another thing is that such angle bisector is a median of that triangle. That is, it bisects the base, which is this. Therefore, this segment and this are congruent. So since this is 6 units in length, this must also be 6 units. Okay now, this whole segment RV, its length is the summation of this 6 and this. That is 6 plus 6, which is 12. That of this line PR is the summation of this X and this 8. So it is x plus 8. Now let's look at this triangle PTV. If you look at this line RT, it divides this angle of 8 into this which is 2 A's and this which is also 2 A's. Hence we can say it bisects the angle. Therefore line RT is an angle bisector of the triangle PTV. Recall the angle bisector theorem which we used earlier, it said the angle bisector of a triangle divides it into two segments that are in the same proportion as the other two sides. This segment is in the same proportion with this segment RV as this side is to this side. So x plus 8 all over 12 equal to z over y. Recall here x over 8 equal to z over y. Replace this z over y with x over 8. So x plus 8 all over 12 equal to x over 8. This 12 is 4 times 3. And this 8 is 4 times 2. This 4 cancels this 4. So x plus 8 all over 3 equal to x over 2. Cross multiply. Here x plus 8 multiplied by 2 is 2x plus 16. While he... 3 times x is 3x, so 2x plus 16 equal to 3x. 
take a transpose of 2x to the right, 3x minus 2x is x, so 16 equal to x, that is x equal to 16. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and comment and also turn on notifications. Thank you.